Hey yo, what's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Say hey yo. Hey yo. I said hey yo. No shmoney spank gang. We in a building and you know that. What is shaking yo? You already know what time it is, man. Holla at me. If you new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on. We is all the way to fuck. Let you dig you. Already know. With that being said, man, if it's your first time on this channel, check it out. I'm about to show you a graph. A graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo that comes out. And what I'm doing on this graph is I'm looking for budget beasts. And I take those budget beasts and I compare them to the best card in that position. If not the most expensive card in that position, I'm here to help you save some chicken. You dig? I said, hey, yo. AKA Cruise Week motherfucking 12. Talk to him. Talk to him. We about to get a free. We about to get a free player, y'all. You hear what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying, man? We about to get a free job, okay? And I was just saying this last week. I was like, yo, we about to get a free player, man. What's up? We need a new QB. We need some new QB. We need some variety in the whole market. So we're gonna go over the quarterbacks. We're gonna go over the other card that they ended up dropping, which was type mid. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I wasn't. It wasn't like, see, when they ended up dropping Denzel Ward last year, it was way earlier in the year, so it made sense. You feel me? Like, it was just, it was OP last year. I don't know if it's going to be OP this year. Y'all let me know if y'all got it, y'all tried it out. I ain't hitting on the ball. I actually, actually had this card last year, so shout out to, you know what I mean? Shout out to Denzel Ward, man. 800 and 49k you know the slogan man 800k we ain't gonna pay you already know now we're gonna compare denzel ward shout out to the homie by the way ain't nobody here man we out here we breaking bread we show love out here but ain't no way i'm dropping 800 bands on the ball okay we're gonna compare denzel ward to the most expensive corner in the game and that is gonna be brian branch do not get got do not pay 1.4 milli for this ball he is only going for about like 400k now remember keep in mind man the market is gonna change okay so just you know in theory if you got this ltd man you're only paying like 100 bands on top of box you smell me so it's not a bad look anyways brian branch is the fastest corner in the game at 99 speed so we are going to compare denzel ward to the ball okay we're also going to throw in there a 97 that i feel like could keep up because he's always glitchy y'all know y'all know how i get you know how it go Y'all know, know what time it is out there in the streets, man. So, anyways, where the boy at? We're going to be looking for Sauce Gardner. Going to exam. I did see him for as low as, like, 260. So, if you catch the ball for 260, yo, that's an official deal. You feel me? So, let's take a look at the graph so you guys can't see where these guys stack up. Now, from left to right, we got Brian Branch in blue. He is six foot. Denzel Ward in red. He is 5'11". Sauce Gardner in green. He is six three you dig when it comes to speed branch 99 ward and gardner both 98 when it comes to acceleration branch 98 ward 97 gardner 95 when it comes to jumping branch op 99 ward 94 gardner 97 when it comes to man coverage they all 98 zone coverage branch 96 ward 93 Gardner OP 98 when it comes to press Brian Branch with a super sus 77 they did you dirty homeboy okay Denzel Ward 94 and Gardner 97 now is Brian well is Denzel Ward 
worth 800 bands, okay? He comes with deep route KO for 1 AP, medium route for 1 AP, mid zone KO for 0 AP, pick artist for 0 AP, two discounted ability buckets, okay? He also comes with a pre-lit X Factor, which is bottleneck. Is is it a fire card? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like the, you know what I like about it? Is the 80 spec catch, the 96 play rep, okay? I think you know, I, I think it, I think it's solid. I think it's solid. What, what really kills him is the jumping. You're talking about 511, right? 511. My bad, not the jumping, the height. He's 511 compared to some of these other corners that are like 6263. Six, you know what I mean? Like even Tyreek Will in the 98 speed is 64. You know what I mean? Like come on, man. And they didn't even give him like deep zone KO. So to me, it's it's solid. Nothing too crazy, you know what I mean? Like you could get, no, nah, it, it, it's it's solid. I wouldn't I wouldn't drop 800 bands on the ball, truthfully, to be honest with you. I would though, drop 260 bands on the ball, Gardner, who would pick artists at zero AP, flat zone KO for zero AP, mid zone KO zero AP, inside shade one AP, deep route KO for one AP. You already know. If you want to get Brian Brands, go get him. Not a bad situation because he is so low in price. The only thing, don't press him. He also gets deep zone KO for 1 AP, flat zone KO for 0 AP in one bucket. The next one, mid zone KO, 0 AP. Pick artist, 0 AP, short route KO for 1 AP. It's not a bad card. I like the Brian Branch card. He's one of those dudes that, you know I mean? He always gets dope cards. So at the end of the day, with a 99 jump, you know what I mean? Like, he really gonna get lit. And he's an LTD and he's down, man. I, I, I'd cop him. Just say, I just wouldn't press him. You feel me? Anyways, let's go into the last position, and this is going to be quarterback. They ended up dropping two 98 quarterbacks. It's going to be the brothers, man. And, you know, hopefully they drop an Archie Manning card because the way they got it, like the Manning brothers, it'd be dope if they did because that should be high. I ain't going to lie to you. Where's the balls at? And what's, what's dope is that these cards, like, not like, you know what I mean? Anyways. 600k for the ball, Eli, and then you got about almost like so about you would say 700k for both of them. You know what I mean? Y'all know the slogan, man. 600k, we ain't gonna pay. But if if you guys want these guys next week, when you get some free 98s from the AKA's Cruise Pack, these guys will be available. Now we're gonna compare them because it's only right. We gotta compare them to a 96 overall, and I think you guys know where we're going with this. We're going to be going and comparing these dudes, Pauls, to the ball Bojack. Because Bojack is going for dirt cheap right now. And everybody got Bojack. Every time I go online, everybody got Bojack. Like, he's down 249k. At the end of the day, even with the with the weak-ass throw under pressure, man, at 240, you can't, even go, you can't even go wrong with that. Right? So, we got Eli Manning in blue. He has a Slinger 3 release. For those of you guys that don't know, that is the Josh Allen release. Okay. Eli Manning in red. He has a sling of five. But for those of you guys that don't know, that is going to be the Warren Moon. And who else had that joint? Oh, Justin Herbert, Zero Chill had that joint too. I can't remember if somebody else had it, but I know they two, both of those two had it. Um, And then you got Bojack, traditional four release. Okay. When it comes to speed, I mean, this is, this is horrific. Oh, word to mommy, this is bad. Peyton Manning, 73. Eli Manning, 71. Bo Jack, OP, 98. When it comes to throw power, they all 98. Short accuracy. Manning, 95. Manning, 94. Bo Jack, 93. When it comes to medium accuracy. Peyton, 98. Eli, 97. Bo Jack, with a mid-90. When it comes to deep accuracy. Manning, 90. I mean, Peyton Manning, 94. Eli OP 99, Bo Jack with a 98. Throw under pressure, Peyton OP 99, Eli 95, and then Bo Jack with a, with a mid 88. Now, is Eli and Peyton Manning worth both, both of them worth 700k? They both come with about the same discounted abilities. Now, if you're able to soup them up, and y'all already know, we don't got to go through this a hundred times. You put one into the other one, the other one gets a discounted ability. Zero AP. Peyton Manning is going to get the zero AP hot route master. 
and Eli Manning is going to get the fearless for zero AP. Now, if so happen you get both of them joints, you get two more of those joints and put them both, all four of those joints into your lineup, then you get some extra attributes. So you're looking at 700 times four. You do the math, that's 7, 14, 20. You're talking about 2.8 milli. Stop the frockery, bro. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck is... What the fuck? I'm gonna curse this. What the fuck is EA thinking? Like, this is a retarded ass... You know what I mean? Like, yo, bro, stop it. Anyways. No, they are not worth 700k. I don't give a fr what anybody say. Now, the reason for that is the 73, 71 speed. Is that bad? It's not terrible, but you're going to have to have good pocket presence. And a lot of the times, everybody's so used to blitzing and all of that. Yo, you might you might get cooked, okay? Had they been, like, in their 80 speeds, it would have been all right. You know what I mean? I would Look, right now, at this type of speeds, bro, I'll give I'll give you, like, 240. 250, you know what I mean? Like, 200. 200 or 250, I ain't, no, ain't no problem with that. But you want me to do all this extra smackle, you know what I mean, for the 1 AP speed? Like, nah, come on. Nah. Look at Bo Jack. 98 speed, 98 throw power, 93 short, 90 medium, 98 deep accuracy. I dislike the 88 throw the pressure. Y'all been know that. But I would still drop 240 on him before I drop 2.8 million on any of these joints. Just keeping it real. If y'all go ahead and do that, and it's official tissue, and then it's later on in the year when the prices drop, I'm with it. Right now, hell to the norm. I would much rather wait to see what happens if you are going to do this. Wait till the market gets reevaluated and adjusted. And then once the prices drop, go ahead and do it. I wouldn't suggest doing it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't mind doing it later to see what's shaking. But at the end of the day, all three of these dudes could get a uh, master tactician, gunslinger, and set feet lead. All three of them for all three AP. Okay? This is it. All three of them, all three AP, the same joints. Ability wise, I feel like um, because of the release, I feel like Peyton Manning might be better. You know what I mean? But don't sleep on Eli because he got some dope stats too. But at the end of the day, like we're looking at Budget B's value, I'm dropping a bag on Boat Jack. After that, I would probably be picking up if I had to pick one between the brothers. I would probably go. I would probably go pay it, man. Just and then Eli. You know what I mean? Other than that, man, truthfully, this is not worth it. I don't know what EA is smoking. Unless they add some more discount ability buckets, like they did take the poll on uh Twitter earlier today or X or whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, I wouldn't drop a bag on this. And if you are, just wait on it. If this video helped you out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on your dick. <laughs>